So today we're taking a look at Hess's Law. Hess's Law builds off of simultaneous or consecutive reactions from Chem 2A. So I'm going to show you a simple example and show you how to work with these delta H's and we're going to get into more complicated examples in class. Here's how it works. Let's say you have an example of carbon graphite turning into carbon diamond. The, both the graphite and diamond are made of carbon. You want to find delta H and you're given these two reactions. This is a classic setup of Hess's Law, where you have more than one reaction. These are called the simultaneous or consecutive reactions, and this is the overall reaction. You're going to be asked, usually, the delta H of the overall, and you're usually going to be given the delta H of the simultaneous reactions. So first, let me tell you how to manipulate delta H, so you know how to do that, and then we'll work on it for this problem. Let's say you have a reaction R goes to P and it has a given delta H. If you need to take this reaction and multiply it by a negative, which in essence is flipping the reaction, what that means is that you're multiplying the delta H by a negative one. Likewise, let's say you need to take this reaction, we'll take a second example, and I need to multiply it by, say, X. Some number, one, two, three, whatever. And that means that I'm going to multiply the delta H by X. So as long as you got that down, you should be good to go. These are how you multiply the delta H. Alright, so when we look at this question up here, what you're going to notice is a few things. One is, any compound that's down here that does not appear in the overall reaction is considered an intermediate. So that would be oxygen's an intermediate and CO2 is an intermediate, okay? So you know that those two need to cancel in order to add up to my overall reaction. So what you're gonna have to do to figure this out is say, well, graphite, CG, needs to be in the reactants, and which it is in the first reaction, but diamond, CD, is in the products up here, but in the reactants down here. So I'm gonna need to do to this reaction right here is multiply by a minus one. When I multiply by a minus one, it in essence flips the reaction. You're going to see that all these intermediates will cancel out. And uh, when you add these two reactions, it adds up to this one. Well, how do I find the delta H? Well, when I do that, when I multiply the second one by minus one, I'm multiplying this by minus one. So my second delta H here, the one for the second reaction, is going to turn out to be a positive. So when I find my overall delta H for this reaction, it's going to be negative 394 plus 396. And that's going to be plus 2, uh, in this case, units of kilojoules. Okay? So you're going to notice one last thing. Whenever I add two reactions, the delta H's of those add after you factor in the multiplier, okay? So those delta H's add, and I get this. So this means that this reaction is, since it's positive, is endothermic in order to create diamond from graphite.